How's it going? My name is Evan, and in this video, we're going to be covering retargeting and going into specifics about the basics of retargeting ads on Facebook. And if you're brand new to the channel, my name is Evan once again. I do different videos on entrepreneurship and digital marketing, and I usually upload around three videos a week. So uh, if you catch me not uploading three videos a week, I would love to hear it in the comments. If you like this type of content, I would love for you to subscribe, even give me a thumbs up, like do whatever you want. But in this video, we're going to be talking we're going to be going over retargeting ads on Facebook. And this is a part of a five part series on Facebook ads in 2019 or in the future. And what's the best way to actually monetize your Facebook ad. And if you guys caught the first video, this is part two in that series. The first video, we kind of talked about all four elements of what you need to do and what you need to, um, what you need to have in order to actually have a successful campaign on Facebook and newsflash Facebook ads are not about Facebook ads <laughs> as hard as that may sound to some of you guys who just want to know the be all and all of Facebook ads. It, this isn't the type of content for you. So we actually just want to talk about the basics, but in this one, we're going to be reverse engineering the whole process. So we're going to be starting from the end, working our way to the beginning. And at the end of this whole process of Facebook ads and actually being able to have successful Facebook ad campaigns is retargeting. And retargeting is probably my favorite way of what my agency as well as what I personally do with my Facebook pages and what we do for uh, our client work is with retargeting. And retargeting is incredibly easy to do. It's super cheap as well. And as soon as you're able to kind of gain your proof of concept, you know what your client avatar is like, you know you know what, uh, what kind of traffic, how much traffic you're coming into your website. You have your whole funnel process already built out. Retargeting is just the, e it's literally just the cherry on top of the pie uh, that little cherry on top of the whipping cream <laughs> so um, yeah that's one of the reasons why you want to retarget is because it's very cheap you know it's already traffic that has already that already knows who you are they're already warm hot and uh, pretty hot leads as well and and you just want to reconvert them they could have already purchased from you before but it's a very cheap way to stay top of mind for your uh, for your customers as well so let's just get into some of the basics for retargeting. So number one, from your funnel, you should have specific types and degrees of leads. So what that means is that you're gonna be basing it off of warm, hot, or hottest. So a warm lead is someone that either clicks through on an ad, that either is a subscriber or a follower that actually goes onto your website or an affiliate, or if you're doing an affiliate partnership with someone and they send out your, your website to a bunch of their own leads of traffic that they do own. A lot of that I'm going to be covering in my traffic section. So there's varying degrees of, of hotness and coldness. So someone that just visited, visits your webpage or your landing page and then hops off, they're a warm lead. They now know who you are. They now know what your business is kind of about, but they don't really know what your ultimate offer is at the end of the day. Because a lot of the time that what you should be doing is following the value ladder, which was brought about by Russell Brunson. And on that value ladder, you're able to kind of uh, gear people into your sphere of influence by getting the traffic uh, to a place where you actually own it so that you can just retarget or you have a whole massive email list, phone numbers, you name it to just get people on the call. So that's something that I would consider warm traffic is someone that comes to a landing page offer, say it's a free ebook or something like that. Uh, I work with real real estate, so it's a, a good free ebook that we like to do at our agency is a, a, um, a kind of like seven things uh, for boom for this is just an example of where I kind of live in Canada and in Vancouver. It's an ebook on seven different ways on how you can how you can increase your property value by fifty thousand dollars with only a hundred bucks. So something kind of like that, uh, which is very enticing for people because you're turning a hundred bucks into fifty thousand dollars pretty easy. So um, so that's one of the ways to entice people to come on. It's a free ebook on how to be able to do that. And by then. For people that just come on the landing page and then hop off, those are warm leads. They now know kind of what you're about and stuff like that. That you're you're not a random anymore. But the people that are hot are the ones that have converted and gotten the ebook. Those are the hot leads. So those are good things to be able to kind of know and and uh, have different lists and ads that go out to that. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But then there's the hottest, and those are the ones that you get on the phone right away, or or you make a sale or a purchase if you're an ecom. And those are the hottest leads. So those leads are already converted. They're already whipped out their credit card. And odds are 
that um, I think the stats is 20% uh, of someone if they've already took taken out their credit card and purchased something that they're going to be purchasing from you again. So it's great things to kind of know about. And uh, that's where the different degrees of leads kind of come into play right here. So let's just move on down. So on your Facebook business page, one of the things that you have to be able to do is to make 30, 60, 90, or even 120. And you can even go up to 180 because there's 180 days that the pixel on your on your website, which I'll talk about in a second, the pixel on your website, which Facebook uses to track all the information of people who go to your website, Facebook then knows who's visited your website and they're able to create retargeting campaign just based off of the emails and stuff like that, that I don't know, it's kind of creepy how they do it a little bit to be honest, but um, but yeah, you can create different audiences and then kind of separate them into 30, 60, 90, 120, and you're able to kind of get people back onto your pages um, or you can create very specific pages like some people who visited the landing page, some people who visited my upsell, some people who visited the thank you page, like just have a whole bunch of different varying degrees of traffic just based off of the URL or video time watch, you name it. So you can actually be able to retarget these people who are already pretty warm leads. So it's already warm leads that you're going to be targeting with this. It's not cold or anything. That's the big money loser is just to bring that cold audience to your website at the at the beginning. That's the big thing with Facebook ads and that people, a lot of the time, they kind of fall off the bandwagon and say that Facebook ads don't work. Well, no, it's just that your funnel process is just not fully there yet and you're not actually able to retarget anything. So uh, I talk a lot about that in my funnel uh, video, which will be coming out or it's already on my channel, which you can check out as well, my funnel uh, video for um, for Facebook ads. And uh, yeah, you can separate all these uh, different lists into varying degrees and that's incredibly useful for different offers, types of promotions and, or and whatnot. And I'll get to that to a second. So you can retarget this audience with on Facebook with your pixel. So a pixel is a little uh, piece of code that you can put onto your website. If you already don't know what it, if you don't already have it, then that's awesome. If you don't already have it, you can find it in your business manager, go to pixels. There's a little code that'll come up. There's a lot of how to videos on how to get your Facebook pixel and, and whatnot. And there's a little code that you can copy and put it onto whatever uh, website that you're on, be it uh, WordPress, ClickFunnels, um, Squarespace or whatever these whatever these websites uh, kind of have right now but that's the big thing um, on what you need to do while making those 30 60 90 120 day lists because you're going to be putting a URL most likely inside of those 30 60 90 120 day audiences and in that way you can actually be able to tell Facebook I want to target people who visited uh, this web page between 90 to 120 days and then, and then you can bring those people back on and just do a, another crazy promotion three months down the line from month three to month four um, for a different time of year if your seasons for e-com or, or whatnot um, it's an incredibly powerful tool to have so mix the offers up when you're doing the advertisements as well. Not a lot of people, when they're doing retargeting, they just do like one ad or something like that. You want to have the same approach as if you're doing a cold audience. I like the five times five times five rule, which is what a lot of people in the e-com space like to do. So it's you have five different audiences, five different five different uh, pieces of content. So videos, photos, um, you name it, as well as five uh, pieces of copy. So five written pieces of copy, and then you just interchange all of that. Um, you can bring new audiences in, you name it, uh, switch up the copy if some's working, some's not. And just in that alone, you have 125 different pieces of advertising. It's quite a bit of ads. So um, you don't have to go that extreme for retargeting, but a good way to be able to get people back on, uh, first off is, is testimonials. So um, actual video testimonials are amazing, uh, especially if you're in the service industry and, which, and coaching businesses and stuff like that. Uh, testimonials are actually king for a lot of that because they may not trust you, but if they have seven other people who have vouched for you and they've seen seven other people vouch for you in a span of 30 days, then it's a higher likelihood of that person now beginning to trust you because they've seen so many other people trusting you with the uh, different testimonials and uh, as well as offers, bringing people on like e-com is a great way to be able to do that. Uh, e-com is 
Ecom and offers promotions and stuff like that or seasonal promotions. Great way to bring bring this traffic back onto your website as well. As um, for real estate, I love a lot of the time uh, written stories, written stories with real estate, uh, talking about a lot of the people who have, are first time home buyers, for example, what they had to go through, how simple their process was working with one of my clients. Those little things are, are, are great for retargeting because it's already people who know who you are. So you don't have to actually like make the first impression or first contact with them. So these people, uh, these warm, hot or hottest leads or whatnot that you're retargeting, they actually know who you are and stuff. So it's you can get a little more personal and you can kind of switch up the days and stuff like that like that or switch up like the ad uh like you might do something different for a 30 day for the 30 day audience than you do for the 120 day audience like that's varying degrees of uh, warm and hot traffic so you might have different types of testimonials different written stories or you might have like a a good a good thing to kind of have as well as to have a three month if you're in the coaching and services business a good thing to have is a testimonial from the 90 day to 180 day of people who have actually been through the program and have have uh, gone through it for three months and they just show their results after three months of actually being able to use that program super powerful stuff all right so let's get into how much this is going to cost you oh man oh went a little too far right there <laughs> that's why i'm getting into that in a sec so the ad set cost so it should be around one to three dollars for 500 to a thousand visitors you can mix that up. You can do one dollar for a thousand. You can do three dollars for five hundred. Kind of mix it up. See what kind of what see what works for you at the end of the day. But that should be per visitors on the on the specific page. So if you have five hundred people who visited your landing page, but only two hundred and fifty people who have visited the thank you page, I would recommend just doing things for the landing page and so that you can get people into the thank you page a lot easier. So you can start from there. Um, but that's usually kind of the guidelines that uh, my agency sets up in place for my clients. That's the way that we do retargeting. And um, it's incredibly powerful and it's very cheap as well. Um, a, a lot of my clients, when they when they see our our um, our review of our monthly reviews, they kind of like wonder like why I spent so much money at the beginning of our 90 day agreement. I spent so much money at the beginning because we need to get that traffic first and then retargeting is where all the cheap cheap magic kind of comes into play where you're actually building relationships and long-term uh top of mind awareness campaigns uh for uh, my specific clients so yeah it's very very cheap once you uh get this started but remember that this is the reverse engineer process this is what you do at the end uh of your whole online business uh online business uh concepts for facebook ads and lastly, you should have three to seven uh, different ads per ad set uh, for retargeting. So, and which goes into audience specifics as well. So be it 30 day, 90 day or whatnot, but you should have three to seven different ads, be it different photos, videos, copy, you name it, should have three to seven, three to seven per ad set with that specific URL. And you should have a great amount of success. Um, I would recommend so that you don't get ad, ad fatigue, uh, you need at least a minimum of three in there because a lot of the time people will do retargeting campaigns and then they get a huge amount of ad fatigue with their retargeting campaigns and then they just don't end up converting. You should have some fresh new ideas. That's why I like separating the audiences out from 30, 60, 90 to 120 days because you can have different ads roll out just based off of the actual audience who you're targeting to, how warm they are, how hot they are, why they didn't convert in those first 60 days. Why would they convert in the on the 90 day instead? So uh, yeah, the, this has been uh, my introduction to uh, Facebook advertising uh, with in regards to retargeting. If you got some value from this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. It also let me know uh, what kind of niche that you're in and how retargeting ads and working out with you as well. And uh, yeah, no, once again, uh, my name is Evan. And this is part two of a five part series on Facebook ads in 2019. And this go went over the basics of retargeting. So uh, thank you guys so much wa for watching. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the little bell thing. If you want to get notified, I do three videos a week once again. And uh, once again, thank you guys so much for subscribing and I'll catch you in the next video.